this is a new thing in Wix that is driving me a little batty. Um, Wix has started to enforce their two gigabyte storage limit on their basic plans. It's now called the light plan. They basically upgraded all their plans uh, to simplify it, which is nice that it's simplified. However, um, now all of my clients with combo plans are running into this two gigabyte storage limit. Now, up to this point, I was advising them to upload their full um, size photos. Uh, now this one isn't quite that big, but some of these are. And, um, you know, depending on how large they are, they could be two megabytes to, t you know, 20 megabytes. Um, and I like that because then we could always go in and crop it. We could download it again. And so, yeah, we overdid it with the storage. That was because before I had no idea how much storage was being used because this is a new feature to show us how much. So I didn't realize that we were even getting close to that two gigabyte limit. And at the time, it allowed you to upload more than that. And you can see here, this one has 2.2 gigabytes out of 2.0. And I didn't even know it was up that high, but it's just because a lot of these photos, if they're not compressed, I mean, some of these are, so these are good, but um, like this image um, is quite large, 4,000 4, by 3,000. Now, that's not a problem. We can certainly start optimizing and going forward, I'm always going to optimize and compress my images before uploading to Wix instead of uploading to full res. Um, and that way I don't have to run into this anymore. But um, since all of my hundreds of clients have done this over the years and now are realizing that they've overdone it, um, a lot of these images could probably be deleted or optimized. What would be wonderful is if there was a replace option here. So you could just replace this image with a smaller version of the image, or even better yet, if Wix could have an option to say optimize image here, and then you could just resize it right in the editor and say, okay, this is a really big image. I want it. It doesn't need to be 4,000 by 3,000. Um, I usually tell clients 2,000 pixels wide is really the max that you would need. And then we can also adjust the, um, um, the compression of it, like the JPEG compression and the quality. So it'd be nice if that was built in here, either that or the ability for me to just replace just this file with a new version of that file that is smaller. Um, and that way it replaces it across the website. Currently, there's no way to know if this image is being used anywhere. And if I were to delete it and permanently remove it from my trash, um, now in Wix, that image will just disappear on any page that's being used. Um, so what's frustrating for me, a big frustration with Wix is, and I love Wix, but there's some things that just drive me a little crazy. And this is one of them. So here I am, this is an image. Let's say, I know this one's pretty big. It's a PNG file. I could probably make it quite a bit smaller than it is. If I click here on change image, it doesn't even show me what image is selected. So there's no way for me to find that image without manually, visually looking through my entire media library to find it. And if it was, you know, I can sort it by uh, older versus new, but that's about all the sorting I have here. There's also filters where I could just look up videos, but um, unfortunately there's not really a way to view these by size, by file name. And again, there's no way for me to know even what this image is. So let's say I wanted to optimize this image to reduce my storage use. Um, if I click here on change image, it doesn't exist or, it, you know, it's there, but it's, it, it would take me forever because there's hundreds of pictures in this um, from blogging and years of, of use. Um, so that's the issue number one, to just the ability to know what image you're dealing with. So that way you can download it, optimize it and re-upload it if you don't have that original file, um, which a lot of times that's the case because my clients upload their own pictures. Um, there's a way around this that I've discovered where if I click here, um, I can, oh, here we go. Actually, I haven't renamed this one. So this one's actually good because now I can get this. Luckily, the tooltip sometimes comes through with that file name, but most of the time I will rename, rename this and optimize this. I'm just working on the site, so I haven't renamed it with the SEO terms I want yet. And um, so it's just coming through the file name. So that's great. But it doesn't, if, if anybody's renamed it, that, that's gone. So it'd be nice if it said that file name maybe right under here. Um, and what I've done to get around this, so if I'm trying to find an image, I'll actually go into the adjust tool 
and then I'll crop or resize or just do a, just a very subtle um, change to it and then hit save. And that way it's a fresh new file that shows up at the top of my screen um, in, in the media library. So if I come in here to the media library, there it is. Um, so that's nice, you know, that's a way around it, but that's totally a hacky way. And it also requires me to duplicate a file, which is crazy. So again, it'd be really nice if I could come in, it would highlight what image is being used. And then maybe there is an ability here to replace that file. Um, and I can upload a new one to replace it with, or even better, if you could optimize it within Wix and just size it down a little bit, crop it a little differently if needed and then replace that image so that it replaces automatically across the board on all pages um, without having to, to manually do it. Because right now, like I said, if I deleted this image out of the library, it, it may delete from other pages that I forgot I used it on. And then you'll have a missing image, which is a big problem. <laughs> it, it looks horrible and looks like your site got, you know, hacked or broken. So um, anyway, those are some features. One other feature I wanted to talk about was, let's change the slide background here. So again, here, this would be lovely if it told me the file name or if I clicked here on image, it would show me which one's selected, but it doesn't. In fact, it almost always defaults to media from Wix, which I, I want to go into my media library. The other thing I'd like to do is the ability to sort these by size. So um, I'm going to turn this off. So over here, a lot of times in your files on computers or, or even on other like platforms such as WordPress, they have the si file sizes over here and even maybe the date modified um, date. And it's all listed here on the right hand side of this list format. Um, and then you also have the ability to click on those various um, options. So such as the file size and put all the biggest ones at the top and then you know go down to the less or you can change the order and go ascending or descending by size um, rather than just this A to Z or Z to A. That it would be a crucial thing too because then it would tell us what, what uh, images are using up the most space and what images we can go into and modify because again, we were uploading pretty large files before. I mean, these aren't huge, but if you have a few hundred of them, you can easily over uh, fill your two gigabyte limit as evidenced by this um, client here. So it'd be wonderful to be able to just replace this. Um, and maybe again, they can put a, add a, um, uh, a compression tool here or the ability to replace this image versus just deleting it and having to manually upload a new one and then having to find wherever it was on any page and replace it. Um, because now I can't really streamline any of these media libraries because there's no way, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what the biggest files are. And if I were to delete any of these, I don't know if they're being used on any pages. Um, and I certainly don't want to break the site. So that's what's been going on. I've been having clients uh, de frantically delete a whole bunch of files out of their media library, not knowing that a lot of those images were being used either on blog posts or pages. And then now they're having all these missing images on those pages. Um, so it's a real issue and we don't even know what image it is that's missing. So it's very frustrating because I can't even tell what image is actually being used on any given page. This does not tell me that um, unless I look in that alt text, which again, that can be changed. So usually with my sites, I've, I've changed this um, uh, tool tip or the uh, what's in the image to uh, a custom, you know, better written description. So um, that doesn't always work. But anyway, let me know if this is something that Wix can do. I certainly hope so, because this is becoming a big problem. And two gigabytes is plenty of space as long as you're optimizing your images before putting them up. But Unfortunately, hundreds of my clients, we just were uploading their high res stuff. That way they, you know, could crop it or reuse it for whatever purpose, um, not realizing how much space we were using. And now we're running into this issue where there's no way to really figure out how to reduce their space um, without just blatantly deleting a whole bunch of files and then breaking your whole site. So <laughs> um, anyway, thank you guys for your help. I hope you can add this kind of functionality in so we can streamline our galleries going forward and our our media libraries um, and uh, yeah, the ability to sort by size, the ability to replace images or to the ability to compress them in place would be wonderful. Thanks.